Hello, hello, everyone. This is Man United Inside again on it. Welcome back. Man UTD may have to tweak Mason Greenwood agreement after attractive offer. Getafe are already looking to extend Mason Greenwood's stay at the club after he joined the Spanish side on loan at the start of this season, per reports. But with a further loan deal understood to be likelier than a permanent transfer, Manchester United may need to seek greater financial compensation in return for lending out his services. Greenwood was shipped off to Getafe in the summer after the Red Devils opted to cut ties with the 22-year-old following a six-month internal investigation into his conduct. A criminal case had been brought against the player with allegations of attempted rape and assault, but proceedings were discontinued in February. Greenwood remains a United player until June 2025. However, Getafe are hoping to keep him at Estadio Coliseum, according to The Sun. A source told the British tabloid, Getafe have discussed trying to get United round the table so they can make an offer, which they believe could be attractive to United to get Mason off their wage bill. The likelier option is United agree for the loan to be extended as they know that Mason is happy and rebuilding his life. They know he needs to grow up and want him to do so. And so far, the Getafe loan has worked out well for everyone. If United are to accept a second season on loan, then it would be in their best interests to agree upon a loan fee with Getafe to help them recoup some funds. Getafe are currently only paying a small contribution of his $75,000 a week wages, with United covering the majority. Meanwhile, the La Liga outfit did not pay a loan fee as part of their existing agreement. In total, Greenwood will be paid a further $6 million by Man Ut if he remains at the club until his contract expires in 18 months' time. The English forward has faced a mixed reaction since joining Getafe. He has scored three goals in ten appearances for the club across all competitions since completing his loan move in September. He had gone more than 18 months without playing by the time he made his Getafe debut during a 3-2 La Liga win over Osasuna on September 17th, while his inaugural goal for the club, which came during a 2-2 draw with Celta Vigo in October, was his first since January 2022. Harry Maguire explains why he stayed at Manchester United. Harry Maguire feels vindicated by staying at Manchester United. Now he is their first choice center back again. Maguire started his eighth consecutive game for United in the 1-0 Premier League win over Brighton, having been available for transfer in the summer. United accepted a 30 million offer from West Ham United, but Maguire rejected United's payoff of six memoirs as recompense for a shortfall in wages. The 30-year-old has regained his place in recent weeks, and his manager Eric Ten Hag's preferred center half on the right side of defense over Rafael Varane. When asked if his form had vindicated his decision to remain at United, Maguire said, Of course. I obviously played a few games last year, 16 or 17 I think it was, starts, and I actually felt like I performed really well in the games that I played in, I just didn't play as many as I would have liked. But on the other hand, Rafa and Licha, Martinez, were playing brilliantly and keeping numerous clean sheets, so I had to bide my time. I had to be patient. I had two or three opportunities last year to get a run of games in and actually broke down with illness, broke down twice with injuries. So I never got the rhythm, never got the run of games that I could prove myself to the manager. I've got that now. I played the last, I don't know how many games, and I really enjoy my football and really enjoy playing for this club. So, yeah, I was willing to stay and fight for my place. We've got, I believe, four or five top international center backs at the club and the competition for places is really hard. Although Maguire only started 16 times for United last term, he believes his form was consistent. United won 12 of the 16 games Maguire lined up in though only eight were in the Premier League and there were crushing defeats to Brentford and Sevilla. Maguire insists his win percentage provided confidence as he strove to win his place back. I think your experience, the memories that you've had, working hard in training, is the main thing, making sure you're ready. But, like I said, I started 16 or 17 games last year and I thought my form was there. 
There was a lot of talk about me because I wasn't playing games, and that's the way it is. I was playing well for my country, went to the World Cup, and played really well. So yeah, I always thought my form was there, but I was up against some top center backs, and last year they were playing amazing, so I just didn't get as many opportunities as I would have liked. But this club demands competition for places, and that's what we've got in that position. Fellow center back Victor Lindelof became the fourth United defender to score a winner this season, when he lashed in the only goal against Luton Town. None of the United forwards have scored at Old Trafford in the Premier League, and Marcus Rashford, scorer of one goal in 16 club games, is the only one to have registered in the league. Maguire nodded in his first United goal in 19 months to secure a 1-0 win against Copenhagen, and he admitted the defenders have made a conscious effort to chip in. Definitely. I think it was a great finish from Vic today, and he played brilliantly throughout the game. Maguire enthused. He stepped up when we needed him. Like you said, there have been other times when I have done it, Diogo's done it, but I think we spoke about it last year that U.S. defenders, we didn't score enough goals. Our attackers were scoring all the goals, Marcus especially. So we all need to chip in a little bit more this year, and we've started to chip in. But like I say, it will probably turn around and the attackers will be scoring all the goals in the coming games. But I've always spoke about set plays are a big part of football. We've played Luton at Old Trafford today and won the game on a set play. And for me, over the recent years, our attacking set plays have been nowhere near good enough. To start chipping in with little goals, in big moments, from second phases, from corners, it'll do us well and get us more three points. I see the forwards day in, day out in training and play with internationals next week in England, and I play with the lads in training at Manchester United, they're top players. They all have the ability to score goals. Yes, at the moment, we're not scoring enough goals, we know that. And we're not keeping enough clean sheets as well, that's the way I look at it. But I think it'll click together. In the past, you've seen our attackers, they're top quality players, they can do it, they know that. Maybe a bit of luck will turn and they'll get that first one and the goals will follow. I'm sure they will because they're all very, very good players. Maguire offered Rasmus Hoidlund his backing after a ninth goalless appearance in the Premier League. The 72 meter striker has plundered five goals in four games in the